this is the same this is the same article uh written by jonah gursky uh this is a uh, referencing uh, this part of the article is talking about uh, luis araña aka daddy for the most part everyone singing gentle acoustic covers a young man emanating very serious artist energy can't play because he can't hear himself back in the monitors holding up the music for 30 minutes trying to fix it the pink boa guy from last month sings the same set i heard with my mom and the young couple sings sweet love songs then daddy comes to the stage and the first two rows of the range clear out daddy's wire daddy's wire thin and miss and missing teeth swaying and talking in nervous staccatos someone yells at him from outside the range and he responds in kind shouting f you dream catcher says uh, daddy then he plays uh he's got a pleasantly weathered folky voice he performs something in the way by nirvana and then a cover of Wu Tang's Cream. Interesting. Uh, swapping out crack for meth and Staten Island for Slap City. He finishes uh, to tepid applause and takes a seat in the front row. I, see, I sit beside him and ask if he'd speak with me. He needs to find some rolling papers, but he'll meet me out by the parking lot. He speaks the way he sings. Jitterbug staccato, Joker laughs, swaying in circles. We meet in the parking lot and he tells me to follow him out to Free Slab. Where, where's, where it's less noisy. Two dogs yip at each other around his feet. He's carrying a guitar, a long pole, and two or three hoodies. He won't stop talking, assuring me he knows the slabs like the back of his hand. He's leading me further and further into the, the darkness, away from any sign of people. And I'm getting nervous. I remember Rich's method out axe wheel. Uh, I remember Rich Rich's method out axe wielder. Wishing I'd brought a bear spray. The parking dogs scrambling around our feet don't really help. We finally reach free slab. So called because people place their donations for slabbers here. It's an old cement basketball court near the center of town, about 150 yards from the range. The music echoes to us over the wind, but we're the only two people in sight. Daddy drops his things. I ask a few questions, but he's talking so much that I mainly just listen and try to steer the conversation to a more coherent narrative. I grew up in the Bronx during the burning period. In the 70s and 80s, there was a housing crash, and the buildings were worth more for the insurance money to the landlord torching it. So if you told me when I was 12 years old that one day you're going to live in an abandoned pool that you turn into a skate park with your friends, I wouldn't have been surprised, you know. I nod. People don't care out here, but I was a college professor in Times Square at New York Digital Film Acad Academy. My specialty is artificial intelligence, actually computer science. I also worked at NBC, Sci-Fi Channel. I worked on 30 to 40 TV shows, according to uh, Daddy Luis Araña. I ask whether there's been any issues living in the slabs. There's a horrible rumor mill, says Daddy. Like, terrible. You have a lot of mentally ill people here. You have a lot of drug addicts here. We also tend to be paranoid. I've been accused of murder a couple of times, and that's scary to me. Even though it's the opposite of true, somebody might believe that or maybe some kind of mob justice will happen. I personally believe if people start to as people start those rumors, they do it to obscure the truth. Like who's a real uh, pedophile? If you call everybody a pedophile or you call everybody a rapist, it obscures the real villain villains and it also the biggest in in and it also, the biggest tragedy is the uh, disservice to the victims. I mean, somebody accused me of being a necrophiliac because I was making out with a dead person. I'm like, it's mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR. I'm trying to save the guy's life. Like, what the F? The wind howls around us and the dogs bark. I can't tell whether daddy is harmless, crazy, or murderous, crazy. The fact that he took me to a concrete slab in the middle of nowhere isn't helping.
you've been accused of murder i ask anyways i'm gonna stop here if you want to read this i'm gonna link it down in the description it's a interesting uh, article uh so what do you guys think about uh uh this interaction uh with jonah and daddy luis araña leave your comments on the section below thank you